Hey, hey, everybody. How y'all doing today? This is Soy Sauce at Soy Sauce Presents. And today, what I'm going to talk about is machine, machine software, and some of the problems that it has and some of the fixes. Um, Facebook group, um, Native Instrument Facebook group, a lot of people were having a lot of different issues. So, some of the issues I may not have had, um, but what I'm going to start doing is posting a video to try to help. Um, I'm posting in YouTube, and I'll leave a link um, a Native Instrument. Uh, if somebody got a, a Native Instruments on Facebook, and they can switch over and check it out. Um, so, without further ado, um, a lot of people don't even know how to rescan their um, plugins and software that's inside machine DAW. Um, some people say it's not a DAW, but it is what it is. It's digital, it's audio, and it's a workstation. So that's my point of view. Um, okay, um, basically, what needs to be done. Um, when scanning, you want to scan your, uh, like for example, sometimes people are missing files or stuff like that, and you want to find your files. Sometimes all you do, all you need to do is reboot or scan. So scan your libraries. And so how to scan your libraries, you just go to File, go down to Preference, and you have your preferences. You have your general preferences, you have your audio preferences, you have your MIDI preferences, defaults, library, plugins, hardware, and colors if you want to change colors. Okay, um, for example, let's just go to the audio. Um, for example, when I'm online, I use a, a different audio interface. So. I actually use the device's uh, uh, virtual ASIO um, voice meter that I use uh, when I'm online um, doing tutorials such as this. Um, other than that, I would click here and go to my audio box, which is at the bottom right here. Okay, that's what I will go to if I'm just doing my thing and recording in here in in my studio okay so that's what you would change <laughs> um, some of the other settings we'll talk about it you know but that's not why I'm here right now um, uh, also well let's talk about this um, <clears throat> sometime your keyboard or your um, uh, your keyboard or your complete controller is not working um, when you hit it you don't hear the sounds so or stuff like that so a lot of times what it is is you go to the MIDI in this preference uh, thing here you go to the MIDI and you go to MIDI in and sometimes you have you have to make sure the box is checked say I have a Yamaha Mo6 uh, keyboard and so that's that's checked off and I also have a machine um, MK2 that's connected to it so that's checked and I also have a complete controller 25 uh, um, MIDI and that's not checked so it wouldn't play if I wanted to attempt to play it so that would need to be checked and then you would say then you would close out and then now it would automatically play some people may have that problem um, the default settings you have um, where your metronome is you can set the metronome to tap a particular way it doesn't have to go t -t 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 -t, you know straight four four time um, you can actually change the downbeat on on your um, uh, metronome okay but and you got other things you can do here so I'm not going there I'm really here to show you about just rescanning your libraries so in this general preference 
um, you go here, and and that's the factory. That's like the um, contact and all of that. So you go to the factory. Make sure you're on factory, and then go down to rescan, and then it would rescan all of your uh, um, plugins and make sure that they're connected. Then if you had if you had uh, user uh, items. Um, some third-party products you will go to user and you'll also rescan I would advise to rescan both okay the factory and user and then also you come down after you after that's done then you also come down to plugins and all the different plugins that you have associated with machine software uh, is here so in all the folders and the files that's connected to the folders. So effects, um, instruments, uh, and everything. Then your plugins, of course. And then you would want to um, rescan. Okay. <clears throat> and in this button here, you always want to use the latest versions of NI plugins. So you want to make sure that's connect, um, put, pushed. Okay. Select it. Hardware, and this is just some general stuff. This is like the MIDI controller preference pads. Um, if I wanted to select a different hardware, I would go to my complete controller. But I'm good. Both of them are on. Both of them are working. Sensitivity of the keys, velocity scale, linear, or you have options: soft, hard, or linear. <clears throat> And then you got your display. You want your display on machine software to be bright. You can, if it's too dark, you can highlight, light it up further. The contrast and the contrast right and contrast left. And then you have the auto colors in your scenes. You know, you can set it for auto or select the particular color that you want your scenes to be. Okay. And that's for scenes and this for the groups and you can have a particular colors or auto I keep it on auto um, sound use group color so, so this is also where you can select the colors for that um, load with colors and I check that box to make sure it's load with colors also um, on another note um, then you close that out after you rescan and everything. Then nine times out of ten, that then took care of the problem. Um, however, when you're in native instrument, um, native instruments, when you're installing, okay, I'm not going to do it right now, but I'll talk to you about it. Um, when you're in native access and you, you're updating your software a lot of times you get an error message okay and what happens is that error message uh, what happens is that error message uh, is saying missing files or you can't upload something that was already in your system okay there's a NI tool um, it's NI uninstall reg edit tool and what it does is uninstall this is it right here it's a file so anyway that's a reg edit tool and when you're updating your software and machine uh, native instrument access sometime you get a error message saying can't install or missing missing uh, file or or when you try to install it just won't work you get an error message so what you do is go to uh, native instruments um, site and go to the support and type in reg uh, NI reg edit, editing tool and so what happens is you get that tool and you want to keep this tool at all times because I've used it multiple times so you take it, you, and so you done opened up native access and something wasn't working properly.
Okay, now you can close native access. Close that back up. And then open NI uninstall reg edit tool because that's what it is uh, uninstall you right click on it and run as administrator and then it says uh, so I get a screen like this and then it says uninstall reg edit tool 60 bit and then you want to use it bang I don't have my zoom tool hooked up right now but anyway what this is if you can see it what this is, is all of the different uh, instruments and different things associated with native instrument, um, the effects, uh, everything, machine, everything. Everything is here. This is the reg, the reg location. So if, for example, your contact Abbey Rose or whatever you may have. What you do, you click on it, click on the item that's not functioning, the one that you're concerned about, that won't install. You click on that, and then you just highlight highlight whatever it is, and then you go to remove selected product. Now, what it is, it's not actually removing the product. It's it's actually removing it's removing part of the product it's removing the part where it, where the registry is conflicting so it's moving those files out the way and then what you can do is still on your system but now you can go back to native access and and then go to install and so it's like a fresh install and it'll install it and now it's up and running at first it didn't want to work but now it's going to work and so that's what I use for that um, and that's that's all I wanted to express to you all today on this tutorial so this is Soy Sauce at Soy Sauce Presents and if you have any questions you can hit me up at Facebook or you, at Sui Sauce, that's me, and or you can become a subscri subscriber on YouTube and leave a message, comment, or whatever, and if I don't know, I'll find out, and then I'll show you how it's done. Just please like, subscribe, you know the, you know the drill. And that's it, you know. Don't cost you nothing but a click. So, holler back. This is Sui Sauce that Sui Sauce presents. Um, peace. Like I always say, be woke, not wokeish. Holler back. Peace. Yep.